And as an international, you kind of feel like you always feel like you have like hurdles. You always feel like you have obstacles. And I was like, I'm going to try it. But I was like, I'm never going to win it. Because that's the always like the feeling. It's always like you work hard, but, you know, sometimes things don't like go your way. Uh, so I remember I, I, I filled all the, the, the things, I like all the documents. Uh, what I really was passionate about was the paper. When I got the chance to like tell my story, that was when I was like really like, okay, thank you, like, finally asking about, like, what it means for me to be here and what are the struggles for me being here. And I, I remember I got, a, I got a call saying, like, you want a scholarship. I'm like, I, I want something. Like, I was just surprised. <laughs> like, I, I, I finally want something. I was just so it's, – it, it took a weight out of my shoulder. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to be interviewing Franklin Castro, who's an international student at Gannon University. Franklin recently won the PICPA Foundation Scholarship, and he won the, the Medal of Honor at Gannon University. Today he's going to talk to us about the scholarship, how did he learn about the scholarship, about the process, and about his career as an accounting professional student, specifically in an international student from Honduras. Thank you very much, Franklin. Thank you. I appreciate it. First, tell us, how did you learn about the scholarship for the PICPA? I learned about it twice, actually. I learned about it last year and um, actually two years ago. I I, I, th I asked someone if I could apply for it. And I think they said, like, I don't think the requirements. I, I don't think you'd be able to do it or fulfill it. And last year, I tried. To, I tried. To, I, I finally tried. I, I was like, you know, my especially my advisors, my accounting advisors really recommended that I apply for it. And as an international, you kind of feel like you always feel like you have like hurdles. You always feel like you have obstacles. And I was like, I'm going to try it. But I was like, I'm never going to win it because that's the always like the feeling. It's always like you work hard, but, you know, sometimes things don't like go your way. Uh, so I remember I, I, I filled all the, the, the things, I like all the documents. Uh, what I really was passionate about was the paper. When I got the chance to like tell my story, that was when I was like really like, Okay, thank you, like, for finally asking about, like, what it means for me to be here and what are the struggles for me being here. And I, I remember I got, a, I got a call saying, like, you want a scholarship. I'm like, I, I want something? Like, I was just surprised. <laughs> like, I, I, I finally want something. I was just so – it, it took a weight out of my shoulder, you know. That's good. And you never gave up. Although the first year you did not apply, you didn't give up. You tried the following year. And that's, that's a great attitude, not only – about the scholarship, about, ev about everything. Don't give up, try again and again and again. That's really good. As an international student, what would you say, or as a student in general, as an accounting student, what, what advice would you give to accounting students um, if they are full-time on campus or doesn't have to be full-time on campus, as an accounting student, what would you advise accounting students to do, to succeed? I say, uh, you know, be passionate about what you were studying. Like I know accounting, you know, people go, it's like, oh, you have to go through Excel, Excel sheets and just do all that and balance this, the equation and stuff like that. I think it's just more than that. Like in my case, like I want to be a forensic accountant eventually. Like I want to work for the government eventually because accounting is so applicable. It's so like you can use it anywhere you want to. Uh, so like accounting opens so many doors that you don't think you could open. Um, exactly. Be passionate about what you're studying. Not only about accounting, but anything that you're studying, just love it. Exactly. Learn about anything. What about, were you involved on campus uh, uh, in accounting clubs or anything like that? Um, init initially, what I, I became part of is more as like, I became part of a, of a fraternity. And fr fraternities you really like, like business majors because, you know, it's like an organization too. So you have yes. to learn how to run it. Um, exactly. And that really helped out. It, it just, it's, it's really amazing because as an international, being part of a fraternity sounds like weird. Like you, you don't have that back home. So as soon as I became part of that, I'm like, I'm going to use my accounting mindset of like documenting because we have, we have year end reports in a fraternity. So documenting yes. stuff and, and putting into stuff and turn that in, that's like, that became just so applicable and so useful. And like in my classes too, just because I was like, I'm going to be organized. I'm going to be my best. I'm going to treat my classes. Like I'm running an organization. <laughs> I see. Did you play any leadership roles in any organization? Yeah, I was uh, president of the uh, the Pi Kappa fraternity. I also uh, I run the uh, I was chair of the intercultural collaboration committee for the honors program in the university. Uh, the goal of the committee was to like make sure domestic and international students like interacted somehow. Uh, okay. So what we did is we had like students in the honors program who were domestic students, and every time there was an event for like international students, we made sure. 
we collaborate in the event somehow, like, you know, help like with setup, help with like logistics and stuff like that. And it, it helped out because you, we went to so many cultural events that eventually people started meeting each other and interacting. So that was like, obviously one of my end goals. That's interesting. That's interesting. And I'm assuming down the road, you're going for the public accounting. Is that correct? Correct. Um, eventually, I'm currently taking my master's to get the 150 credits. Um, okay. Eventually, I want to take the CPA. And my end goal, like I said, I really want to be a forensic accountant. I think that's an unexplored field. Like even my minor, my minor when I, saw, when I was an undergraduate was criminal justice. And even yes. though it's not needed, I just really wanted to learn about like criminal justice and how things work. Uh, An agency as a private accountant and accounting is something that could be like more like in you know money laundry tax evasion stuff like that and that's I think that's really interesting. Absolutely, and I hope uh, I'm not sure if you know about this that Congress is they're they're circulating a bill that might make accounting part of the STEM program. If accounting becomes part of the STEM mm -hmm. program, that's going to make your life much easier as an international student yeah. to stay longer than those what you have two years right now yeah, after graduation. Correct, and hopefully you'll have five Correct. or seven and more opportunities. So fingers crossed that that oh, yeah. STEM, that STEM <laughs> classification will, will, will be realized in Congress. Franklin, it was great. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm, I, I truly enjoyed uh, talking to you. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. And most importantly, talking about the PICPA scholarship. And, you know, being a member of the PICPA student member, you know, you'll have opportunities for a scholarship. Meet, meet future employers, leadership roles, professional development. So I encourage all students who are listening, join the PICPA student membership. It's free. It's going to give you access to many different resources. It's going to connect you with future employers, with other students. So don't hesitate. And that's your way to become a CPA.